Hey, what's up? This is Atlas Knight, and this is the uh, video part three. I repeat, this is the uh, my um, this is the third video to the abandoned Lindsay Box New Orleans Hospital in New Orleans, Mississippi. Man, damn, that's a lot of trash. That's one thing you never do when you're in abandoned buildings. Don't never rush. Yeah, let me stop talking so loud too because I don't want to give my position away to the police. Okay, there's nothing. Well, as you know, there are some doors behind this, but it's barricaded. I saw it on another YouTuber's um, YouTube video, but I'm not, obviously I'm not going to bother trying to rip that open. look up here fuck you Susanna huh who's Susanna must be a someone's girlfriend Huh, there's a hole through the ground. Okay, let me see what's up in here. Huh, someone's, huh, I think that's someone's treasure, or stuff, I mean. I'm not going to go in there. Let's see. The inside of this place is a mess. It looks like a zombie apocalypse. Let's see. Fuck Dustin's dick, but definitely. Huh. Anyway, though, I have enough common sense. I'm not going to go inside no dark, abandoned building by myself where there's no sunlight. Hang on, let me look over here. Hmm. 
Wait, hold on. Uh, I thought I heard somebody. Oh wait, no, I can go in here. I could go through here. Here's the exit. Let me get up in through here real quick. Okay, now this is pretty much the same area. I was gonna go to the top floor, but um, yeah, it's kind of barricaded up there, so I can't get through all the trash and metal. Oh yeah, never mind. I thought that was a security. No, I thought that was a police officer again. Yeah, that scared the shit out of me. I thought that I thought that was that damn police officer. Let's see. Wait, what was that right there? Oh wait, no. Never mind on that, that's just a little window. Let me go ahead and put my gun back in. I don't want I want no one to think I'm trying to shoot them. Only way I'm gonna shoot someone is only if they're trying to attack me. Other than that though, they're fine. I'll leave them alone as long as they leave me alone. Now I just gotta wait. I probably can't sneak in. Oh shit, wait. Is that guy I saw? Nails. I'm looking behind me too while I'm also having my camera in the front. Just gotta be careful. Huh, I someone broke through there, but no, never mind.
Okay. Oh wait, hold on, let me check this floorboard. It might be unstable. Hold on to this just in case. Oh, that looks like just like a door. Man, this looks like some place out of the fucking Walking Dead. I'm not gonna lie, man. When I looked at the YouTube video of other YouTubers coming up in through here, I mean, this place looked like it was sealed off shut. Like, you couldn't even get up in here if you wanted to, for, if your life depended on it. But now it's um, easy access. It's pretty bright in here. In my opinion, the best time to come up in here is during the morning time when there's no one hardly here. If you run into homeless people, just leave them alone. If they don't mess with you, don't mess with them. Don't tease them. Don't bother them. Just leave them alone. If they leave you alone, leave them alone. Right now, I'm just checking every room to make sure no one is trying to sneak up on me. Oh, yeah, let me take some pictures while I'm at it. I got to make sure... This place looks corroded to hell at the top, too. Like, I'm all the way to the top of the building. I mean, dude, like, they tore up everything out here. They, they fucked this whole place up. Make sure there are not no booby traps or booby wires. Uh, so far, I have not encountered like one homeless person, but I know there's at least probably uh, maybe four homeless people here, but they're probably down at the bottom of the basement. That's probably where they're at. I mean, I'm not 100% guaranteeing that, but that's what I'm kind of assuming. Uh, there's a ladder, but I'm not gonna climb all the way up there. I thought I was at the very top, but I was wrong. Oh, yeah, I thought I was. Hmm. Well, so far it's nothing special. It's like it's all the same rooms and everything. 
And that's about it. But, um, yeah, anyway, though, like, um, I'm going to go ahead and go back outside. Because, like, I don't know, like, at any minute this whole ceiling could collapse. And I'm not trying to get squashed to death by the ceiling. I'm also watching my back, making sure no one's, like, trying to attack me from behind or anything. Oh, look, look, look. They got a little pentagram circle here. Shit. I hope, oh, yeah, that's another thing you got to look out for. Um... If there are no, if they're not no robbers or serial killers here, or psycho killers, you gotta watch out for the satanic cults that might try to sacrifice and kill you. So you definitely want to bring a gun with you, like me. And since I got this gun on rapid fire, it's custom made. I can shoot quick, within like less than a second if I need to. But I don't want, I don't want to shoot no one unless I have to in self defense. Let's just get that right, okay? Get that right? I only shoot people in self-defense, only if they try to attack me. I don't go around just wanting to shoot people for the fun of it. I do it to protect myself and stay alive for survival. Ugh. Well, anyway, I'm definitely going to have to take a bath when I come back home. And this is up in New, this is up in, uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. This is Lindsay Boggs Hotel. I mean, no, Lindsay, I'm sorry. This is New, or New Orleans, Louisiana. It's uh, Lindsay Boggs Hospital. It got flooded during Hurricane Katrina. And I think uh, 187 people died here. But anyway, let me go ahead and get up out of here because I don't feel too safe being up in all this rubble if you look up here. Let me take one more picture before I leave out. Okay. Oh, yes, yeah, I forget. Let me put that. Oh, I keep forgetting there's a hospital up over here. Let me put my gun down because I don't want these people to think I'm trying to shoot them or something. Yeah, that's the last thing I need to do is have a regular civilian think I'm trying to fucking shoot them. And then I end up going to prison. I might not, dude. I'm just trying to defend myself in case some crazy person tries to hurt me. Okay, I got. I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here. I think I got enough footage. Well, actually, I'm going to do what my dad says. Haste makes waste. So I'm not going to rush too fast unless I see a cop. If that cop's still hanging up around here. Let me take a picture of my gun. Post it on Facebook. I'm going to have to go ahead and hide my gun because if a regular person sees me, they're probably going to think I'm trying to shoot them, which I'm not. You got to be careful. Oh, God, please don't let there be no police officers out here. Okay, I only see one guy outside, so let me hurry up and get up out of here.
Oh, sweet. See? It's the hole. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's... <laughs> I wonder what that guy thought I was doing. Man, I bet this guy probably thought <laughs> thought I was a homeless person. But anyway, though, I gotta go ahead and um, get back to my car. This is Atlas Nights. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Atlas Nights. And um, I will see y'all later. And y'all have a good day. Stay safe and peace. Well, actually, let, let me go ahead and still record me going back to my car so everybody knows I'm safe. I'm not going back up in, I'm not going back up in there. But, uh, that was okay. That wasn't bad. But man, I was sick of posting up video games on my YouTube channel because I know that was getting kind of boring. I've seen what other YouTubers and stuff do, so um, I just wanted to post something new because I know y'all like seeing me explore abandoned buildings. So I went to New Orleans and I posted it up on my YouTube channel. I mean, I haven't posted it yet, but I will post it when I get back home.